Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. If you wanna get access to over 25 of my free swing dance courses, check out that link in the description. Today, we're going back to Savoy Cup 2022, and I'm going to be scrutinizing a pro couple routine by Niels and Bianca. This couple is incredibly professional. They work very, very hard, and I kinda expect to see what I expect. So I'm gonna give you my big fat bloated opinion right after this. All right, here we go. Niels and Bianca, another high intensity performance. Uh, usually they do a lot of fast dancing, lots of aerials, tempos are pretty quick. So uh, looks like they're getting a lot of support from the audience. We all want to be entertained. So here we go, let's see. Yeah, nice footwork. Yes, nice footwork. Yeah, some classic uh, Gene Kelly, Nicholas Brothers movements. Love it. Solid ending, solid energy. Man, oh man, rapid fire, guys. Let me give you guys my thoughts. Whoo, this was cool. This was really, really cool. The The ultimate takeaway that I, I see from a, a participant's perspective, a competitor's perspective, if I was choreographing a piece and I saw this and I needed inspiration for my own piece, which I rarely do, I rarely watch other people's things, but if I did, I would notice very quickly the loudest responses from the audience were not necessarily from the most difficult moves. I think that is very telling. It's very fascinating that you can take a simple move and properly place it with the music to get an outburst and an emotional response from people in the audience. That's amazing. That's profound. And, you know, as a judge, you know, looking at this and having a broader scope of kind of what's come before in the Lindy Hop community and where things are right now and, and where things are going to kind of go based on what's happening right now, I see things from a different perspective. And I think for me, and the, the thing I think about off the top, just openly thinking about, is the fact that they're dancing to a song that most people simply can't dance to. I'm not saying they can't swing out that fast. I, I can swing out this fast. I've done it. But to do a choreographed piece with such high intensity for this long is very rare. When you think about 
dancing fast and, and moving to tempos like this well over, you know, 280 beats, 300 beats a minute. Once you, once you start getting up there, you have to continue dancing to that level in order to be able to continue doing it. Here's what I mean. You can dance really, really hard for a week. You can practice with your partner. You can do your routine. But if you take off one week of not fast dancing, all of your stamina goes away. It's a fascinating thing to recognize for even those people who are professionals. You must keep up the intensity in order to keep up the illusion of uh, unlimited energy. And I got to tell you, that says a lot about the professionalism with Niels and Bianca. And I appreciate their professionalism because they don't look winded at the end of this performance. Now, I will tell you the, the portions that I thought were the best and were the most unique in this were the, the portions that had a tremendous amount of syncopated musicality. Now, typically the kind of musicality that would go with a tempo this fast would not be as intricate but they went there. They did some incredibly intricate uh, choreography to a beat this fast. And they didn't just do a few of the beats, you know, that they were emphasizing. They emphasized so many elements within a small portion of music. And I want you guys to see it real quick. There's a section right here where they come out and when they're dancing together, you can see this little section, they're doing their little circle, and then all of a sudden they come around and you see it right here, and then ba da ba da ba zoom boom ba da da boo do da ba zoom boop and ba right there. That's very, very difficult. That's very, very difficult. It's not one of those things that you could just do. They had to have gone over that over and over and over in order to get the timing. But again, it says a lot to even want to be able to hit the musicality that tight. Um it means that you have to be conditioned to do that. So that was my favorite moment in this routine. There was another moment here to demonstrate that same type of intensity. So take a look here. They do the same thing. They come around. Bianca rolls in. Ba -da -da, boop, 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 boop. All of that. When you look at that, if you go back and look at her footwork here, every single step she's taking is actually synchronized with the bass drum. And if she would have messed up or been behind one of those beats, it may not have created the, uh, the, the illusion of perfect musicality. It may have just looked like she coincidentally hit some of those moves and then just kind of ended up at a certain place. But she doesn't do that. Every single moment is hit right there. And I love that. I love that. That intricate style of choreography, I, that's my favorite. I kind of have a proclivity for that. That's my style of choreography is, you know, small details, really irregular shapes. And so I kind of gravitate to that when I'm looking at uh, competition. So I haven't seen any other competition here, but I really hope some other dancers bring it. Usually, uh, Niels and Bianca are competing against a lot of other dancers, but I will say quite openly, a lot of the dancers don't work as hard as they do. And I, I just, it's really hard to see them actually have to compete against someone who's working equally as hard and is as, as conditioned as they are. So that's what I hope. So I'm going to take a look at some other videos and give you guys my thoughts. But so far, this was really impressive for those moments that I had mentioned that did not get the most screams from the audience, but they were the most difficult to do. Very, very difficult and had perfect timing. So guys, let me know what you thought about this performance by Niels and Bianca in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear what you think. I thought this was great. Uh, maybe one of their top five routines. I, I don't know. Or let me know what you think this weighs in all of the Niels and Bianca's routines that you've seen before. So I look forward to seeing your comments below. Take care.